To other news now, if you own a home in El Paso, the due date to pay your property taxes is just around the corner. KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap is live in West El Paso with a look at why some homeowners may be seeing an increase in their property taxes this year. Shelby. Some homeowners that I did speak with today told me they did see a slight increase in the amount of property taxes they owed this year compared to last and said they are hurrying to get them paid as the deadline is February 1st. I paid it last night. Um, pretty much, you know, clear it up before it's due. El Paso homeowner Chuck McCammon noticing a $355 increase in property taxes this year compared to last. That's $7,000 I'll be paying in taxes in 20 years if it keeps going up at that rate. Another El Pasoan didn't want to be on camera, but says he also saw an increase, but smaller. But says thanks to the stimulus checks, this will be the first year he's not paying a late payment penalty. I saw an increase of $40, um, so it's going to be the first year that we actually pay it off on time and avoiding the fees. Tom Fullerton, a professor of economics at UTEP, explains that the increase some homeowners may experience is due to COVID-19 related price hikes in the housing market seen in 2020. The reason that COVID-19 caused, let's see, housing prices to increase is that mortgage loan rates declined so much that, let's see, they were at historical lows and anytime mortgage rates goes down, go down, it causes uh, housing prices to go up and that raises taxable values along with it. With just a few days left until property taxes are due, Professor Fullerton said we have to wait and see how many households struggle to make their property tax payments due to layoffs or business closures related to COVID-19. It could be a situation where even though housing values have gone up, let's see, the, the total number of households that fall into arrears on their, um, let's see, property tax payments is going to increase and that's going to cause budgetary uh, headaches for the Office of Management and Budget downtown. Professor Fullerton also adds that in El Paso, property taxes represent approximately 35% of municipal revenue. Now, the city of El Paso reminds El Paso homeowners to make sure and pay your property taxes on time to avoid any penalties or interest. Reporting live in West El Paso, Shelby Cap, KTSM 9 News. All right, Shelby, thank you very much. In New